Beverly LaHaye has passed away. She was the founder of Concerned Women for America, which she established in response to the National Organization for Women, who, despite their claims to represent the women of America, did not represent probably the majority of American women at that time. During the 80s, I was a proud member of CWA, and I stood in full agreement with their positions on the preborn, on Israel, on traditional marriage, and I really appreciated the value they placed on the role of women in their power position as wives at home, at their home base, from where they can operate their businesses and charitable activities, while keeping family concerns a top priority and maintaining control over their own schedules and their own personal lives. I really appreciated the value they placed on the biological home, mother and father. And we know for a fact now that this is the safest environment for women and children out of every kind of familial construct. So today, CWA is the largest public policy organization for women in America. The current CEO, Penny Nance, said, Mrs. LeHay championed the forgotten woman of this country, whose voices were not being heard in Washington and in the culture. Her life is a testament to the impact one woman with a vision and mission can have on the course of history. Forty years down the road, with our culture and our values under assault, many are waking up and they're realizing a need for a spiritual reset in their personal lives. So if that's you, watch this video here to learn how you can draw closer to God and see the link below in the description for the free spiritual reset guidebook. Mrs. LaHaye was an inspiration to me and I'm going to leave you with this legacy video. The story of conservatism in America would be incomplete without the story of Dr. Beverly LaHaye. Her story, she'd be quick to tell you, is not really about her, but about how God directed her every step to form Concerned Women for America, the largest public policy organization for women in America. In 1978, radical feminism was sweeping the nation. We are going to turn this country upside down because we aren't going to take it anymore. Right to make our own determination about our lives and about our bodily integrity is the most fundamental of human rights. We have the majority with us. Hearing and seeing these radical voices say they spoke for the women in America infuriated Mrs. LaHaye and she decided to do something about it. It was the start of something she couldn't even have imagined. From the first meeting of nine women in her own living room, Beverly LaHaye started a movement that took the country by storm and pushed back against the radical feminist agenda. This uh, is a response to the feminist movement, isn't it? I mean, you got kind of concerned, didn't you, that women... Oh, we did. That's why we started Concerned Women for America. Tell me about that. Because we did not have a voice. Uh, when the feminists spoke, they spoke as they said, for the women of America, and we are not a single block group of women. There are large bodies of women out there, such as we've got in this audience today, who did not agree at all with the feminists. And I think their being here today represents that. She gave voice to millions of Christian conservative women who saw the fundamental flaws associated with the feminism movement that had betrayed its roots and the truth upon which all equality and diversity can flourish, the Word of God. CWA won incredible battles in the courts, legislatures, and in the culture. Thousands of women joined the fight for true equality in women's rights, including religious freedom, marriage, family, and children. They rallied against sexual exploitation and big government control. And when God directed Mrs. LaHaye to move CWA's operations to the nation's capital, the course of American history was forever changed. It's wonderful to see you all here. Makes me feel as if the reinforcements have just arrived. <laughs> and 
just a few short years, you've become the largest politically active women's organization in the nation. A lot of the credit, of course, has to go to one woman. She's one of the powerhouses on the political scene today, and one of the reasons that the grassroots are more and more a conservative province. And because of her, the great majority of women once again have a voice in the issues of the day. They can... You can no longer be ignored by the media or by their elected representatives. Beverly LaHaye is changing the face of American politics, and she deserves our thanks and congratulations. Today, Beverly LaHaye's legacy continues to multiply as thousands of young women look for an alternative and find the support and leadership they so desperately need in the community of like-minded women that is Concerned Women for America's Young Women for America chapters. Tonight, we want to celebrate Beverly LaHaye's life, her commitment, her faithfulness, and her sacrifice for God and country. We would not be here without her unwavering commitment to freedom and truth.